Well, this is problem four, the not really a proof for class 12 of Math 117. And the challenge is to state the monotone convergence theorem and give three examples that illustrate different things that can happen. This is an if and only if theorem, and I'm going to state it explicitly in both directions. So what are we starting out with? We're starting out with an increasing Okay, now we got the tablet working. An increasing sequence of positive integrable random variables. which I will call x sub n. And now, <clears throat> from that, we can conclude that for each n, since x sub n is integrable, the expectation of x sub n exists, that's what integral means, and is greater than or equal to zero because x sub n is a positive random variable. And furthermore, the sequence of expectations is increasing. Now there are two possibilities. Case one is that this increasing sequence is unbounded. And that's not the case we're interested in. We're interested in the case two, where the limit of this increasing sequence is finite. And what the theorem says in that case that sequence of random variables converges to a limit x almost surely, which means except for an event with probability zero. And furthermore, this limit x is integrable. And finally, the limit of the expectations of the x sub n is equal to the expectation of this limit x. So that's the theorem one way around. 
the other way around is that for every little omega in our sample space, except perhaps an event or subset A with probability zero, the limit of X sub N evaluated on omega is finite. Because this is an increasing sequence of random variables, this sequence is necessarily increasing. So either it has a finite limit or it diverges to infinity. It can diverge to infinity, but only on a subset with probability 0. In other words, x sub n converges to x almost surely. And now there are two cases again. Case 1 is x is not integrable. That's not the case that we're interested in. The case we're interested in is where this limit random variable x is integrable. x is integrable. And in that case, again, the limit of the expectation of x sub n is equal to the expectation of this x. OK, let's do some simple examples. And for my sample space, I'll just use the interval from 0 to 1 and a uniform probability density. That is, the probability that little omega is in some interval is equal to the length of that interval. OK, here's example one. Perhaps x sub n x sub n does not converge to any random variable x. For example, let's fix some integer k and define x sub n of omega to equal 1 minus 1 over n if omega is greater than or equal to 1 over k, but x sub n of omega is equal to n when omega is close to 0, when it's less than 1 
over k. In that case, x sub n of omega just keeps getting bigger and bigger for all omega less than 1 over k. So there's no limit x of omega because x sub n of omega diverges to infinity on a set that has a probability that's strictly greater than 0. And in this case, the expectation of x sub n diverges to plus infinity. OK, that's sort of the worst case. Everything blows up. Next case, a little bit better, x sub n converges to some limit almost surely, that is the set on which it blows up, is a set with probability 0, but the variable to which it con converges is not integrable. And what the theorem says in that case, the limit of, expect of the sequence of expectations is also equal to infinity. Okay, how am I going to do that? x sub n of omega is 1 over omega if omega is greater than or equal to 1 over n, but x sub n of omega is equal to n if omega is less than 1 over n. Notice in the first example, I fixed k. So there was some set of finite size where omega just kept getting bigger and bigger. Here, as n gets bigger and bigger, the set on which the function gets very large gets smaller and smaller. Now I can compute the expectation of this random variable. It's a little bit bigger than the integral from 1 over n to 1 of d omega over omega, which is equal to log n. Since log n blows up as n goes to infinity, so does the expectation of xn. And so we have a situation where x sub n converges very nicely to 1 over omega for all positive omega. In other words, the only value of omega for which we don't have convergence is omega equals 0. It does converge almost surely, but it converges to a random variable that's not integrable and the sequence of expectations diverges. So that's the intermediate case. We have convergence, but the convergence is to a random variable that's not integral. As a third example, I can set x sub n is equal to n. Notice in every case, I've got some subset of the interval from 0 to 1, where x sub n equals n, but now I'm going to say this just happens for omega equals one-tenth, two-tenths, and so on. There are only 10 values. Otherwise, x sub n 
is 1 minus 1 over n. Okay. That's the good case. On the one hand, x sub n converges to 1 almost surely, because the probability that the value is 1 tenth or 2 tenths or something like that is 0. And going hand in hand with that, according to the theorem, the expectation of x sub n is a convergent sequence. In fact, this expectation is just 1 minus 1 over n, which converges to 1. My opinion is that this theorem is as hard to state as most theorems are to prove. So if you understand this much about it, you're doing pretty well.